was one of the Queen's royal spiders, the kind that had taken away Ard. On that terrifying night, they were the collectors of children who were to become Sixers. Come on, Dicey! We can't let it get away! She's in our sights. Not today, spider monster. I always knew I was a Sixer at heart. I knew! I'll do all sorts of important work for the Queen, while Bernard mops the floor. Uh, hey, where is Bernie? <gasps> Bernard is gone! <laughs> a Sixer child is missing! I repeat! <laughs> Look! It's Bernie! From back home! Of course we should help him! He'll be eaten alive out here! The spider seemed impossible to get into at the moment. Oh, but perhaps Bernie would know how to get to her sister. Even knew... Come on! We've got to find him! Oh, yes, yes. Time was of the essence. 
I was done anyway. itself apart in a three-way civil war. A murdered father, three siblings, each suspecting the other of the deed. It's and a giant battle droid, given to each by the Queen to settle the matter. fall down when you've built it with Manny's help. Oh, hello. You've made it to Three Town, have you? Be careful here. Those triplets don't mess around. But then again, that just gives you three good reasons to buy some cars, eh? <laughs> I could ask you the same thing. But now we're both here, and that means one thing. Let's trade cards! Let me answer that question with a question. Who could possibly dwell on the past when we've got cards in the present? So, let's trade, shall we? <laughs> Yes, War Zone was no place for most children. But even suspected, she could carve out a place for her there. With her dice by her side. Great. 
Fascinating. Fascinating. Uh, Greetings. I'm doing a survey for the Upper Class Gazette. Do you have a moment? Splendid, splendid. I have only one question. Who do you think started this war, turning our lord, their father's castle, into a battlefield? Surely you know the story of the three siblings? Oh, what fun. Yes, let's. So, since you're hearing this for the first time, uh, let me tell you about the three siblings involved. There's the paranoid Count up in High Bet Haven to the west. The soft and coddled Duke living in Fogwash Garden to the north. And the duty-bound and tough-as-heck Baroness living out east on Wildcard Hill. Who do you think did it? Who do you think killed their father and started this bloody civil war? Fascinating. Fascinating. That's all I need. Thank you for your time. Fight! Let none who attack the king... Uh... Why'd you ask, stranger? What's your motivation in all of this? Oh, how heartbreaking for you. How tragic, you poor child. Oh, heavens no. That sort of thing wouldn't interest me at all. Good grief, spying on people. I make a point of not remembering anyone I see in public. Privacy is very important to me, you understand. What with that paranoid count demanding full reports of everything everyone does every day and all? I'm noble, you understand. Heck, most of us here are. This bell belonged to my family, don't you know? It still does, I suppose. It has. I'm noble, you understand. Heck, most of us here are. I suppose it is. I don't know any other way to live, you understand. It belonged to the triplets, and before then, it belonged to the Lord or King of Freedom. Before his murder. Just so. But I'm a distant relative, far enough to stand outside the daily battles and to not choose a side. You know, I have another distant relative, a cousin of mine, that I haven't heard from in some time. Not since this cursed civil war started. Last I heard, she was in the Duke's garden, playing nobility, eating cakes, I suppose. If I could see her again, I'd tell her that I miss her, that's all. It's silly, but you never think of the people you care about until they're no longer in your life. And it would do my heart good to know that she knows I do miss her. But it's too dangerous for me to go stumbling around a battlefield. Please excuse me. If I could see her again, I'd tell her that I miss her. That's all. It's silly, but you never think of the people you care about until they're no longer in your life. Yourself, stranger. I am Nishka, and I'm I'm I I used to protect somebody important, I think. A ruler, maybe? Before the war. Oh, even you sweet child. 
You can't keep clinging to the past. The king's dead and gone now for years, don't you remember? What? How did you know my name? A lucky guess. About what? What were you guessing about? The king! Protect the king from danger! <laughs> oh boy! Uh, I can't wait to get back home! Uh, uh, but I can't get back home without knowing the way. Or can I? Oh, <laughs> hey mister. Uh, do you know the way to one... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, you want a hug? Uh, uh, okay. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow, it's, it's pretty cold in here and dark too. Alive? I thought I saw one running around here recently. A young lad. Boxy clothing. Can't say I did, unfortunately. But you'd better find him quick, before the Shadow Man does. <laughs> Everyone knows about the Shadow Man, child. Especially children out all alone. Kids never run around here unsupervised. That's what the Shadow Man ensures. All I know is that if a kid's missing, the Shadow Man's probably got him. As well they should. You should be afraid, child. Everything's important to someone. If there's a kid running around unattended, the Shadow Man probably has him by now. Oh, you really are in over your head. Oh, you are clever, but I don't know him. Nobody does. If you stay a spell, all Marjorie and Took can tell you about him. The Shadow Man. He was born in the time of the first nightmare, and he lives on to this day, but not like you or I. He lives in the walls, the walls of Mulgrow Alley, and he can always see you, but you can only see him when it's dark. Snuff out the lights in Mulgrow Alley, and you'll find him there, waiting. But be warned, child, it may be the last thing you see. If he were merely a ghost, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Goodbye. I do not think we will see each other again. You want to know about the Shadow Man? You want to know about the Shadow Man? The Shadow Man comes when night eats day. He'll come and take your child away. And you might cry, and you might pray. 
But the Shadow Man comes when night eats day. He don't like shine, and he don't like sun. He'll come out the walls when the daylight's done. Snuff out Muddy Grow Alley's lights, then you best run, for the last night of the Shadow Man has begun. Sounds to me like you're fixin' to go see him. I wouldn't thank me just yet. <laughs> Even suddenly felt like she was being watched. And to tell you the truth, I did too. boy about yay high let me think uh, this one oh wow even is that you i'm so glad to see you can you believe that i'm stuck let him out haven't you heard the bedtime stories I'm what goes bump in the night. I'm what comes for children when they roam a little too far from home. This is what I do. Or what I used to do anyway. Before this silly war. He's mine now. I won't be letting him go. I believe you call that leverage. No. No, I'm afraid that's not what I do. But I would be willing to trade. Nothing you have, child. And I suspect nothing you can bring me. That remains to be seen. But perhaps you're right. I want the same thing all of us want here. Peace. I want the Triplet War to end. Not. I'm the creature that moves in the dark type. But people only truly fear things that move in the dark during peace. During war, they are surrounded by greater threats all day long. And so nobody fears the Shadow Man anymore. Life is the greater horror. And they have overindulged, forgotten me. If you 
you want me to give you a nod, then I want you to change that. I don't care how. I don't care about anything, even. Except being feared by everyone again. I've watched you. I know you're a dice wielder. I've been around for centuries, even. I know more than your mortal world has forgotten. You alone carry the power to affect the arenas and those giant robots. Figure it out, or you will never see your precious Bernard, or any other child I choose to take again. Without peace, there will be no boy, no hope, and you will never see your sister again. For you, there are currently more important questions at stake. Go, even. Bernie's fate rests on your tiny shoulders. And my hunger won't be held at bay forever. To save Bernard from the wretched Shadow Man, even had to end Freedom's civil war. It was a hard task, an impossible task. But she wasn't going to let her friend die. The first thing she needed was information. Perhaps some of the locals would be willing to share what they knew. woman. Completely mad. Don't Have you seen Nishka? You, I remember you. We've spoken before, haven't we? No, I don't... I don't remember much, and... I'm sorry, what did you want? Oh... With the children, the three children, they, they, well, something happened. There were sounds from his chambers. Was someone with him? I was his bodyguard and I ran to look and he was supposed to be sleeping, but, but. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... It was such a shame, such a... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot what we were talking about. Hello? Do I know you? I'm sorry. I'm afraid... I'm afraid that these days I don't remember things as well as I used to. I have moments where I can see things so clearly, and then... Oof. But there have been times where an object reminds me of things. Holding an important artifact that reminds me of a person, or an event, that could bring it all back. Can you find these objects for me? One for each triplet, that could bring it all back. Oh, and if you could find the murder weapon that killed the king, I could remember that too. I feel certain of it. I'm sorry, find what? What were we talking about? Oh, if only I could remember! <laughs> that platform reminds me. I'm supposed to warn travelers about something. I'm supposed to say something very, very important. <sighs> Oh well, it's probably fine, and we should all stop worrying about it.
Seeing the ease at which Dicey affected the world, even was surprised to find herself feeling a little bit frightened of him. How could someone so small and innocent contain so much untamed power? And now, even suddenly felt like she had the world on her shoulders. Could she solve the mystery of the King's murder? It's the Count! Ladies and gentlemen, the Count has won the roll! I can't predict are the roles of the Queen's dog. Hi there, I'm Tea Time Tootsie. I used to be our late King's master planner. Hey, we don't choose our names, our parents did. Oh well, the Nanny Fortuna renamed me after my uh, well, previous master was murdered. Uh, I hear she likes tea. Every day I watch the battles and come up with the most thrilling stratagems for the next day. The only thing I can't predict are the rolls of the Queen's Dark Dice, but everything else I know. Observation, my dear girl, which leads to knowledge. Knowledge, to coin a phrase, is power. I just invented that saying right now. Here, let me give you an example. Every day the dice is rolled, and every day one of the Colossuses moves. Everyone noticed. But what everyone else has failed to notice is how the winning Colossus brings most of the robots he commands with it, and that leaves the area behind safer to traverse. Do any of the triples use this information? Perhaps attacking from behind on the day the dice favors them? No. Only I see it. By the order of Nanny Fortuna, I am not to work for either of them. Although I would be interested in learning more about the triplets for observational purposes only. Tell you what, if you meet them, come back here and describe them to me. There'd be a reward in it for you. Someone has entered your ruin at uh, castle, your grace. <laughs> I swear, it must be my bloody sister, the Baroness. Or my fancy pants brother, who thinks he's so much better than me. <laughs> Sending their assassins to smother me in my sleep. But this count is awake and ready for you! You hear that, assassins? I've got cars to trade. Don't you want to follow suit? I know you do. <laughs>
account. I love that guy. There's definitely no downsides to the man. Everything he does is so grounded and normal. <laughs> it's super normal to go even crazier because your imaginary friend Shmoo is missing. Now that's something I'll absolutely deny. I definitely love the Count, and I'm not just saying this because I truly regret our leadership. I deny it! Okay, I gotta go. If we talk too long, someone might think we're conspiring against him. Which, again, it's great. Can't wait until the queen rolls her dice, and it's our time to fight and maybe die for him again. It's so great and normal. Thank you. 